or to take his property by fourth bi ghayri haqqin without any due right illa bi tibatin min nafsihi except that which he he gave except that which he gave away he say illa idham tana'a min ada'i haqqin alayhi except if he refused to give the due right meaning very good if he refused to give the zakat in that case the muslim ruler can do what can take the the zakat from his wealth and return him back his due or he owes somebody he got the wealth he doesn't want to pay it the muslim ruler can take his the wealth he owe and pay it to the person that he owes it for you so this is illa bi haqqin except that which is of due right except that which is of due right so therefore for zakat kal zakat he say as the zakat i will do you know the debt he say allati alayhi that is upon him the zakat that is upon him and the, the debt that is upon him fa innahu yulzamu bi ada'i huquq allati alayhi because it is binding upon him to yani free himself from those things that it is upon him which is the zakat or the the debt so inshallah ta'ala next week our city will be reading qawluhu asamu minni dima'ahum wa amwalahum what is the statement of shaykh salih al fawzan in regard to that likewise the other uh, explanation that we're reading from shaykh abdul muhsin al abbad shaykh muhammad ibn ibrahim al shaykh and likewise shaykh um, uh, daqiq al eid rahimahumullah we will be reading bi idni allah ta'ala and muhammad ibn sa'id al uthami rahimahullah from the points of benefit after we finish this may allah ta'ala give us the tawfiq mm-hmm. to read this bi idni allah ta'ala uh, and perhaps we will see if during the ramadan we can be doing more than one day inshallah if there was any mistake that i have made that i have done please rectify me may allah tabarak wa ta'ala rectify you on your affairs Allah, what time is it?